take the video, Mrs. Lai. We will get started with our good morning song today. All right, so here we go. I gotta make sure I can see. There we go. Today. We do have a very special owl painting project you get to do today with that new paint set. Ava's got it out. That's the one, Ava. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have so much fun with that today. And we are going to talk a little bit more about the little old lady who was not afraid of anything. You made some puppets for her yesterday. So that's going to be a lot of fun today. You can put the paint set down. We don't need it right this moment. But let me see here. I'm going to ask Saman. Saman, will you do me a favor and turn on your mute button, buddy? And I want to take a look at some app words. We're going to keep learning those app words. Let's read them together. And then we're going to move on to some owl stuff. So when I want to read a word, I look at the first letter and I make the sound. Can I read a word if I'm looking at the ceiling? No. Can I read a word if I'm playing with my shoe? No. I need to look at the letters of the word, especially the very first letter. So here's my word. I need to look at my word. So Saman's just going to put everything down so he can practice reading with us. Saman, Saman, you don't need to touch it right now. Hold on to it. Keep it safe. But I need your eyes right here. Let's look at the first letter. Here we go. Ready? Cap. One more time. Cap. That's one app word. That's an important app word, right, Dominic? Here we go. Ready? Gap. One more time. Gap. And you'll be writing these words today. So I'll show you what you're going to do because I want to make sure we do everything so nicely. Ready? Make the sound. Sap. One more time. Sap. Here we go. Make sure you're looking at these letters. So Sundana, whatever you're doing, we're just gonna put it down. Look right over here. C cap, one more time. Cap. Langston, you're gonna put that down so we can be readers right now, buddy. I need your eyes right here. Ready? Tap. One more time, tap. And this is a different, it's not like tap, 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 tap. It's the tap. This is the tap, you turn it on and water comes out. Sometimes we even call certain water tap water. That means it, you turned on the faucet or the hose and the water came right out. So this is the tap. 
That's a different kind of word, maybe one we hadn't heard of before. Let's look at the first letter. This is a challenge word. We've got two letters together. Let's blend those, ready? Snap, one more time, this is a big one. Snap, there we go. And this one, ooh, another challenge word, ready? Trap, one more time. Trap, there we go. And what's gonna come up next, Mrs. Lai? Ah, good one, I like this one, one of my favorites. Ready? Map, one more time, map. And let's take a look right here. Oh, it's that challenge word again, here we go. Make both sounds, trap. One more time, ready? Trap, and g, gap. One more time, boys and girls, gap. I've got two more words. Ready? Sap. And sap is sticky stuff that comes out of a tree. If it comes out of a maple tree, we call it maple syrup and we put it on our pancakes. So lots of you have had sap, although you do have to buy the real maple syrup, not just the sugar stuff. But this is a great thing lots of us really enjoy. And I've got one more. This is a good one. And says, nap. Look at the boy, he's sleeping on his desk at school. That is so silly, so, so silly. So I want to teach you today a little bit more about owls so that you have lots of good owl information in your head when you make your owl today. So I have this book, we started reading it the other day, this book called Owls by Gail Gibbons. And we've also learned that a baby owl is called a what, boys and girls? Owlette, that's right. A baby owl is an owlette. And we're going to learn a little bit more about those very important owlettes. So remember, Saman, Saman, you shouldn't have anything in your hand at all, honey. Put everything down and I need your eyes right here. So. The female, the mommy, lays the eggs. And this is how she lays them. She lays one egg at a time every two days. So she lays an egg, and two days later, she lays another egg, and two days later, she lays another egg, and after 10 days, she's laid five eggs. So in 10 days, she lays five eggs. After she lays them, she does what lots of birds do. She sits on them. She sits on them to keep them nice and cozy and warm. This is called incubation. Say it with me. Incubation. About one month later, you can start to hear a tiny little chirp, chirp, chirp coming from one of the eggs. The shell begins to crack. The first owlet uses its egg tooth and baby birds often have a special tooth right on the end of their beak and they use it to help them crack the egg so they can come out, so they can hatch. So the first owlet uses its egg tooth to break free from the shell. The tiny owl is blind. It cannot see and it's helpless. It needs its mommy to take care of it. But it can hear all the sounds around it. The male has been hunting, bringing food to the mother owl who's been there with the babies. Two days later, the next owlet hatches. The mother keeps them warm and protects them with her soft feathers. At two weeks old, the owlets can see. So they can start to see with their eyes after about two weeks. It takes two weeks. They are covered with soft down. Now both parents must hunt to feed their hungry brood. So every two days, another owl hatches until all five owls have hatched. 
Now the owlets are one month old. Look at them. They look a lot more like owls now. They have their feathers. Their eyesight is good. The owlets are very active and jump on the food their parents bring. They try flying. When the owlets are two months old, they have moved outside of the barn and are able to fly, but they still need their parents to help them get food. When the young owls are about five months old, they are able to live on their own. So it takes an owl about five months after it hatches to be able to live on its own. When you were five months old, you could not do anything to take care of yourself. You still had to have mom and dad do everything for you. So owls are quite different than us, but that is pretty amazing. We learned so much more about owlets. We learned things like they're born, they can't see, they're blind. It takes them about two weeks to be able to start to see. It takes them a while to even grow in the feathers that they need to be able to live out on their own. So that's pretty amazing stuff. I'm gonna put the owl book down right now because owl is an O word. And we are learning this week lots and lots of words that start with O. So let's get our Skywriter finger up and let's sing O oh, says ah, okay? So let's draw and sing together. Here, David, David, when the teacher's talking, your eyes belong only on me, okay? I don't want you doing anything else. All right, get your skywriter finger up. Here we go, ready? O oh, says ah, O oh, says ah, O oh, says ah and O says ah. Let's sing O says O because O makes two sounds. It's a vowel. Let's sing O says O, ready? O says O, O says O, O says O, and O says O. So O can say ah, ah, octopus. O can say O, O overalls. Let's see if we can add a couple more words to our word list. Let me bring it on over without crashing too much. Ooh. Oops, I'm gonna crash. I don't want to crash. Come this way, O word list. Don't crash, O word list. All right, there we go. Got my O words right over here. Now look at what we already have. So we already have some some O words here. We already have, let me see if I can move this just a little bit more boys and girls. Hold on. There we go. I've got lots of cords everywhere. It makes it a little crazy around here. All right. So we've already got on our O list, we've already got octopus, owl, ostrich. Okay, so let me tell you what I want you to do. I want you to think of a word that starts like ah, ah, ostrich or o, o, oval. I want the word in your head so that you're ready to say the word as soon as I call on you. Now, are you going to tell me a word that's already here? No, I want it to be a brand new word. Don't tell me a word that's already here. Tell me a brand new word that starts with O. Oh, we need some different words on this list. So the first person I'm gonna call is Aaron. Aaron, go ahead and unmute, buddy. Ox, Aaron said ox. That's an excellent O word. Aaron, what letter does ox begin with? It is an O word, that's right. So I'm gonna come right over here. I wanna make sure you can see. I'm gonna start with my letter O and let's sound this word out, boys and girls. Ox, x. what says X? I see lots of friends saying X, Mrs. Lai. It's O, X, ox. And an ox is a very large animal. 
and I'm gonna do my best to draw an ox. And here's my ox. I have a happy ox. I have a happy ox. ox oxen often have lots of fur on their bodies. They live where it is cold. So that was a great word, Erin. Thank you. I'm going to call on my friend. I'm looking here. I'm going to call on um, Vivon, our soon-to-be birthday boy. I love your birthday hat, Vivon. Octagon. Awesome job. Hey, Vivon, bonus points if you can tell me how many sides does an octagon have? Eight sides, excellent job, Vivon. He is absolutely right. So everybody put your hands down for a moment. We are going to write the word octagon and I want you to be able to stretch it out. Everyone, tell me the first letter of octagon. Say, oh, so here we go. Let's stretch it like bubble gum. Let's say it slow. Oct, oct, octa. Octagon, g, gon, octagon. Now I am going to draw a side with eight shapes. So here I go. I'm sorry, a shape with eight sides. Get it right, Mrs. Lai. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did it. I got an octagon with eight sides on it. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna choose another friend. Saman, go ahead and unmute yourself and tell us your O word. My O word is oatmeal. Oatmeal, excellent O word. Do you eat that for breakfast sometimes? Yeah, I do. Good, oatmeal. So, um, Saman, what letter does oatmeal start with? Oh, it's an O word. Oh, as a matter of fact, it's a long O word. So we're gonna sound it oat. It's O A T. There's a there's a little A that sneaks in right there. Oat meal mm, me. Silent A again. Oatmeal. Last letter is L. And oatmeal is often eaten hot, right? You eat it hot or warm. So here's a nice big bowl. I've got my spoon inside and then there's gonna be some steam coming up because my oatmeal is nice and warm for me to eat. All right, let's get a couple of more O words right now. I'm gonna call on my friend Avery. Avery, go ahead and unmute yourself. David, you have to pay attention to class. Hold on just one second, Avery. David, David, you have to pay attention to our class, honey. That means you need to be listening and participating, okay? So you're not talking to your sister right now. She's doing her work and you're gonna do yours, okay? So look right on over here. Yes, Avery. Overalls. Overalls. I was waiting for someone to say overalls. There they are. It's a long O word right there. Overalls. Lots of letters in overalls. Let's clap this out. Let's see how many parts are in overalls. So get your hands up. Here we go. Ready? Overalls. How many parts were in that word? three parts in that word. That's right. There were three parts in that word. So I'm going to go ahead and write it. I'm starting with our long vowel. O. O. V. It's never just R. This one's E-R. Overalls. Overalls. There I go. And I'm going to draw a picture of overalls. And I'm going to use blue. Overalls are often made out of jeans. So I'm going to draw a picture of overalls here. And they might have something here and maybe a button right here. There we go. There are my overalls. All right, boys and girls, we need another O word. 
another O word and I'm going to ask my friend Skylar. Skylar, go ahead and unmute yourself, honey. Tell us your O word. Orange. Orange is an excellent O word. As a matter of fact, why don't I just use the color orange to write the word? So, um, Skylar, what letter does orange begin with? What's our letter? Oh. What's our letter called right here, Skylar? Oh. Oh, it's an O word. So here I go. I'm writing orange. Orange. O R A N G E. Orange. And I'll just draw an orange right here, like the fruit you would eat or a paint spot you might use. There's my orange right there. Now, boys and girls. Tomorrow, we will have an activity where you will have the job to write all these words. Now, I've noticed that some of you don't write any words, but I want you to write not even some of the words. Your job tomorrow is going to be to write all the words. Can you show me a thumbs up? Say, I will write all the words. Not just draw pictures, but it's for your practice to write all the words. So that's what I wanna see you do tomorrow, okay? We are going to stop right there for now, just because it's time for us to get up and dance and move our bodies. So boys and girls, why don't you go ahead? I want everybody to make sure they're participating here. Mrs. Lai is gonna turn this back on. I'm gonna do, oh, gotta to touch the right button. I see you, Sasha, hang on just one second. We're not gonna forget our writing, guys, don't worry. You don't need to remind me. We will do our writing, okay? Are you okay, Sasha? I know, you know what? We have lots of other O words and we might get an opportunity to add a couple more tomorrow. Will you keep it there? Keep it there for tomorrow for me, okay? Thank you. Keep it there for tomorrow because we wanna write it tomorrow, okay? Is that okay? And then you can surprise us tomorrow. So boys and girls, your job is to stand on up so you can dance and sing along with us. We are going to move and this is why. Jack Carson! Let's move like the animals all around and learn the letter sounds. Animal alphabet A to Z. Animal alphabet will help you.
have lots of things that they want to say. Sometimes, Mrs. Lysies, we need to move. We've got lots of kids that have wiggles and it's just time to stop all the talking and get up and move and groove. And when we do things like that, it's your job to stand up and dance and make sure you're paying attention and singing along. We don't have a lot of time, but we do have some really important things to do. Very quickly, Vivan. Did you know today is my birthday? Yeah. Vivon, I... <gasps> Vivon, why did I put your birthday on Saturday? I said we were going to celebrate you tomorrow. We do have to celebrate you today. Oh my goodness, Vivon, you're absolutely right. I gave it to you and for some reason I put your number and, and I look over here and it does say, Vivon's birthday is today. That's right. Oh, Vivon, I'm so you know silly. My mom and my dad are going to do a challenge ready? They have to say yes to me for one whole day. Oh, I am so glad to hear that. You get a yes day for your birthday. That is awesome. So boys and girls, Mrs. Lai is so crazy. I was thinking we were going to celebrate Vivon tomorrow, but we're not. We are celebrating Vivon today. All right. So that's definitely what we need to do. So boys and girls, go ahead and unmute yourself. And we are going to sing happy birthday to our friend Vivon. And Vivon, you woke up this morning and how old were you? Vivon? Six. Six years old. He's got to use two Vivon. hands. He's turning six. Six years old. All right. So, boys and girls. I know I said to turn your microphones on. I said it to so we could sing to happy birthday. So let's sing happy birthday to our let's sing happy birthday to our friend Vivon. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vivon. And I know we all wish Vivon a very, very happy birthday. I know it's going to be a great day for Vivon. So let me see here. Can everybody check and make sure Simon and Morgan and Sasha and our June? Will you go ahead, Brandon Ace? Will you go ahead and turn your mute button back on, buddy? Thank you. And there we go, Morgan. Go ahead and turn your mute button back on, honey. There we go. And Sreshta, will you turn your mute button back on? And I see Mahialani, did you have a question, honey? Go ahead and unmute yourself, Mahialani.
Did you have something you wanted to tell us or were you just stretching? Not sure, you can think about it, honey. It's okay, you can think about it. All right, boys and girls, listen very, very carefully. I know we are ready to go ahead and write, but we're gonna hold off on our writing for just a few more minutes. I've got the little old lady who was not afraid of anything right here. And I want us to read this together. This book is so awesome. I'm so excited to share it with you. Yesterday, we made some puppets to go along with this book. So I'm going to have you tell the story today to somebody with your puppets. Yes, Miriam, I know you've been waiting for a long time, honey. Um, when are we going to do the paint? Oh, in just a little bit, honey. It's going to be a video. The painting is going to be a video, so you have time to get everything ready, okay? All right, so boys and girls, we're not going to have any more talking time because we'll simply run out of time for everything that we need to do today. So I want everyone to take a look right here, and I want you to listen very, very carefully. Vivon, birthday boy, did you have one more thing to say, honey? Did I give you puppets? I did. I gave you puppets and I started to make mine yesterday. Like I've got the pants that go wiggle wiggle and I've got my big orange pumpkin head. Yes, I gave you the puppets. So some of you have them and if you have them, you can use them. But if not, I want you looking right over here and you can talk along with me. So we are going to read this story. So I want everybody's eyes right over here. So that means Skylar and David, whatever you're doing, put it down because I need your good listening ears and I want you talking along with this story. This is the little old lady who was not afraid of anything by Linda Williams, illustrated by Megan Lloyd. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the woods to collect herbs and spices, nuts and seeds. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes. Say it with me, boys and girls. And the shoes went clomp, clomp. And what did she say? Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. Now on she walked down the path, but behind her she could hear two shoes go clomp clomp all right talk with me on this one keep yourselves muted but talk along with me because lots of stuff that's funny happens in this book a little farther on the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants and the pants went wiggle wiggle get out of my way you pair of pants I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked on. But behind her, she could hear. Talk with me, what could she hear? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Whoa, sorry. A farther on, the little old lady bumped into a shirt and the shirt went shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked, but behind her she could hear. Talk with me on this one, boys and girls. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. 
One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. And one shirt go shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came up on two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went clap, clap. And the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said, and on she walked. Just a little bit faster, but behind her she could hear, what could she hear? Two shoes go clump, clump. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one hat go nod, nod. By now the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went boo! This time the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran, but behind her she could hear. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. Say it with me. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with her door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock knock at the door. Should she answer it? Should she? Well, she wasn't afraid of anything. So she went to the door and opened it. What do you think she saw? Say it with me, boys and girls. She saw two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. The next morning she woke up early. She went to her window and looked into her garden. And what do you think she saw? What did she see? Say it with me, boys and girls. Two shoes, I skipped a little part, I know. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo. Ooh, and what did they make? What did they make? They made a scarecrow to scare away all the crows. They went and they helped the little old lady by being a scarecrow in her garden. I love that story. So you have your puppets. I'm gonna want you to tell the story to somebody using your puppets. Two thumbs up if you think you can do that. I can tell the story of the little old lady. Maybe, maybe I can try. I can try. I'll record a video and I'll show you exactly what I want you to do, okay, boys and girls? All right, I know you've been waiting. Go ahead and get out your writing paper.
That's the one. I'm opening up to my next blank page. Here I go. My next blank page here. Lots of you like to go ahead and write your name at the top so you can do that now. And here are my lines. And I'll tell you what our first sentence is going to be. We are going to write, I'll wait just a moment. We're going to write, the owl can fly. The owl can fly. Four words. Xerxes, you're gonna have to hang on for a moment, honey. We gotta get started because we're almost out of time. The owl can fly. So I'm starting, uh-oh. Okay, finally we're back. All right, boys and girls, I know we got a little frozen there for a second, but we're just doing our best to write our sentence about the, and I'm putting my spacers after the, and I'm writing owl, O-W-L. Putting my finger spacer again, and I'm going to write my sight word can. C A N. The owl can. And my sentence isn't over yet, so I'll go ahead and come down to the next line. Make sure those letters touch the line. Make sure you've got spacers between your words. The owl can fly. What's the first letter? I hear some of you saying F, or I see some of you saying F. We're gonna have to write a blend. Full F, after the F comes the L. Fly. Now I hear an I, but I want to tell you that that letter is actually a Y. Sometimes Y says I, it's very silly. Let me read my sentence. The owl can fly. I'm going to put my period right there. I did it. And I'm doing my best to draw an owl. Just drawing the shape of an owl flying. My owl still has big eyes and a beak and sharp talons at the bottom of its body. And my owl is flying. And I'm just doing my best. I've never drawn a flying owl before, but that's okay. I can try. Very nice, I love it, very nice. Do you have a question, Skylar? You can go ahead and unmute, Penny. Can you help me draw my owl? Um, so yes, so I went ahead, so watch what I did. I went ahead and kind of gave it a rounded top and then I drew just sort of two lines out, one line here and one line here, I kind of stretched its wings. And then I gave it some 
these are called like scalloped edges. I kind of came around and around and around and around and around and around and I came down to sort of a pointy tail at the bottom. Very nice, very nice. We don't really have any more time today, boys and girls. So as soon as you're done, as soon as you're done with that part, 